Hi friends, in this video, we are going to solve the problem on rotor speed. So, up to now we saw effect of rotor resistance, effect of supply voltage, V by F, naught is equal to constant, and effects of supply voltage, V by F is equal to constant. Effect of rotor resistance, effect of voltage, and effect of voltage. V by F not equals to constant, V by F is equal to constant. Three topics. Here, slip is directly proportional to rotor resistance. Here, slip is inversely proportional to V square. Here, slip is inversely proportional to V. Right. Right. First question. First question, a three phase, 50 hertz, six pole, slip ring induction machine. Three phase, 50 hertz, six pole, slip ring induction machine. Rotating at, rotating at 900 RPM, rotating at 900 RPM, at rotor resistance of at rotor resistance of 16 ohms. Rotor resistance of 16 ohms. If extra 8 ohms added in rotor circuit, extra 8 ohms added in rotor circuit, extra 8 ohms added in rotor circuit, then rotor speed is, then rotor speed then rotor speed. This is very important question. Very important question. They are asking in many competitive exams, including gate. A three phase, 58, six pole, slipping induction machine, rotor speed 900 RPM, and rotor resistance at 16 ohms. If extra eight ohms added in rotor circuit, then the rotor speed is. What is the formula we have to take first of all? There is no exact relation between the speed and rotor resistance. But we have a relation, the slip P is directly proportional to rotor resistance. Nothing but S2 by S1 is equals to R2 by R1. What is S1? Tell me, my 6 pole 50 hertz. 6 pole 50 hertz, nothing but 1000 RPM. NS is equals to Synchronous speed is equal to 1000 RPM. Can you tell me what is the slip for that? 1000 to 900, nothing but 100 RPM slipping. 100, how much percent of 1000? 10 percent of 1000. 10 percent of 1000. What is slip 1? 10 percent. Slip 1, 10 percent. So slip 1, 10 percent, they given. We have to find out slip 2. And R1, R2, can you tell me R1? R1 is equals to 16 ohms. And R2 is equals to 16 plus 8, 24 ohms. Extra added 8 ohms. Don't take R2 as a 8 ohms. If you take R2 as a 8 ohms, you can get the answer, which is option A. Don't take 8 ohms. R2 is equal to 16 plus 8, 24. Then you can get the right answer. Generally, people doing the common mistake. Right, sir. So, what is S1? I told you, 10%. Now, tell me what is S2? S2 is equal to 10% into R2 by R1. 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 6, 2, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2, 5. Finally, 15%. What is the slip value? S2 is equal to 15%. If S2 is the 15%, NR2 is equal to NS into 1 minus S2. What is NS? NS is the 1000. NS is the 1000 into 1 minus 15%. 1 minus 15%. Sir, actually, 1,000, 15%, nothing but 
150 removed. 150 removed. Then NR2 is equal to 850. Directly also we can say 1000 into 100 minus 15. 85 divided by 100, 0, 0 gets cancelled. Answer is 850 RPM. It's very simple answer. Right? Right? S2 is equal to 15%. 15% of 1000, 150, nothing but 150 RPM slipping here, if 150 RPM slipped, if 150 RPM slipped, what is the rotor speed, 1000 minus 150, 850, directly we can say the answer, by seeing the question we can get the answer, just two, within seconds, two seconds are enough to do this question, two seconds are enough, right sir, whatever I give you a clarity, now your work, I will give you a question, you have to do the answer. I won't give you even answer. Okay? You have to do the answer. I will give you a question. You have to do the answer. Right? Next question. Write down and do yourself. I don't give you the answer. Right? Next question. For example, I am taking same question. A three phase, 50 hertz, six pole, slip ring induction machine. Slip ring induction machine. Rotating at... 900 rpm rotating at 900 rpm with rotor resistance of 16 ohms same question rotor resistance of 16 ohms next question how much resistance how much resistance we have to add how much extra resistance we have to add add in rotor circuit in rotor circuit to get to get 800 rpm rotor speed to get 800 rpm rotor speed are you getting or not what i'm asking you what i'm asking you here here I already told you that the first resistance and extra resistance added. Then I asked that to find out the rotor resistance for total resistance. Rotor speed at this resistance. I gave you already extra resistance. Then find out rotor speed. But here I gave you already rotor speed. At what resistance we can get this rotor speed? And how much resistance we have to add to get this rotor speed? The formula is same. Do the answer first and give me the answer first. Solve it first. What is answer? Solve it. Very tricky question. The commonly doing some mistakes. People doing some mistakes. I will show you what is that mistake. Do it first and give me the answer. Hold the video and do it first. Do it first. Are you doing or not? Are you doing or not? Right? S is the 10%. So S1 is the 10%. R1 is the 16. And R2. R2 is the R1 plus extra resistance. Then tell me S2. S2. Can you tell me what is S2? S2 is the 20%. Why 20%? Here, rotor is rotating at 800 RPM. 1000 minus 800, 200. 1000 minus 800, 200. 200 by 1000, 20%. As simply, 200 is how much percent of 1000? 20% of 1000. Yes or no? Right, substitute here. 20% by 10% is equal to 16 plus extra resistance by 16. So, so extra resistance is equal to R16 plus extra resistance is equal to 32. 16 plus extra resistance equals to 32. Extra resistance is equal to 16 ohms. Extra resistance we required is 16 ohms. Generally, people doing here taking R2. Here, the people taking R2, if this is R2, R2 is equal to 32 ohms. 
Option A is the same, 32 ohms. They are giving options. Option A is the 32 ohms. Option B is the 23 ohms. Option C is the, option C is the 24 ohms. And option D is the 16 ohms. Actually, answer D is correct answer. This is 100% wrong answer. How much extra resistance added? I asked that. Then, how much extra resistance added? 16 ohms. If they ask the question, what is the total rotor resistance? What is the total rotor resistance at this speed? Then you can get answer 32. Don't make a mistake. This is the common mistake done by the people. Right, sir. This is the problem on rotor resistance.